In this video, we will see how scaling works with KubeDB. We will scale our database horizontally and vertically. For horizontal scaling, you have to apply this KubeDB CRD. Uh, this is managed by our enterprise operator. So in the kind, we are defining it as MySQL of request. And in the metadata section, we are naming it scale up and it, it's in the demo namespace. And by spec, we are telling we want to do a of request of type horizontal scaling. In the database reference, we are uh, giving the name of the database we want to scale. And in the horizontal scaling section, we are telling we want five replica of it. So let's see that in action. Uh, I have already a MySQL cluster running of version 5.7.36. Let's apply the YAML. So we can see that we are applying the same YAML here in the database reference section. We are uh, referring to this MySQL database. So we can see that our all, our ports are coming. Uh, there will be five. There will be five replica of this. So if we check our previous database, there are some data in it. So we can see that in the default, there are four default databases and one I have created previously. Uh, let's check out the data. So I can see that I have four data in it. So let's wait for the instance to join into the cluster. Uh, it will be joined one by one. When the first instance will join the database, then after that, again, will come. So I can see that the fifth one is coming. That means the third a fourth one already joined in the cluster. So let's take that. So I can see that all the data has been populated in this. And we can see that our horizontal scaling is successful. And that means all the four instances will join the database. Let's take that. So now I can see that all of my all of the five instances have joined into the cluster. So we can scale up very easily using KubeDB of request of type horizontal scaling. Now, if you if we think that you don't need these two instances, we can scale down. I have a YAML for the scale down. So I can see that for that I'm just referring to the same horizontal scaling. And in the member section, I have wanted three replicas. So let's apply this. So 
So the last two instance will be terminated. Uh, let's wait for that them to be terminated and we want to after that we want to scale our database vertically for vertical scaling you need to do another obstacle type of vertical scaling and in the metadata section we are just naming it and in the type we are telling that we want to vertical scale our database and in the vertical uh, scaling section we are telling that uh, we, we want uh, the resource we want this uh, in in our case we want uh, 1.2 gb of memory and 0.7 of cpu and we are setting same thing as the uh, limit also so let's wait for our horizontal scaling to be completed so uh, it will be successful soon. Uh, let's say we want two GB of memory. So we are will be requesting two GB of memory for the vertical scaling. So my horizontal scale successful so you can easily you can easily create a request of your horizontal scaling for that you will be able to scale your database as you need so let's apply the vertical scaling ml So what will QBB will do is terminate terminate the instance one by one and update the memory. So let's wait for that. I can see that the first instance has been terminated and already trying to join in the cluster. So let's see what's in it. Uh, now we can see that it has come with 700 m of CPU and 2 GB of memory. So the first instance now using the 2, two GB of memory. We want to validate our data exists. Uh, we are requesting in the same same database 
हम दस दिन के लिए so we can see that our all of the data has been partitioned so i think two instances has successfully updated to the latest request of memory and let's wait for the third one to be completed So we can see that our database in the ready status and the ops request is successful. So we have successfully updated our uh, resources, requested resources. So let's validate that. So for the third instance, we can see that we have requested 700 m of CPU and 2 GB of memory. So everything is updated fine. In the next video, we will see how we can upgrade our database using TripDB.